We can almost never actually compute the integral that we find using the arc length formula. Why is that? Remember that the integral we get using the arc length formula is the integral of a square root. Inside the square root, we have one plus the derivative squared. This is a composition. The square root function is the outside function. This is the inside function. We only have one method for taking the integral of a composition, and that is u substitution. But to use u substitution, you need to be multiplying by the derivative of this inside function. Here, as you can see, we are not multiplying by anything. So even the simplest curves find the length of y equals x squared from x equals 2 to x equals 5. Hardly a function that was designed to be complicated, and yet, its derivative is 2x, its derivative squared is 4x squared. The arc length is the integral from 2 to 5 of the square root of 1 plus 4x squared dx. And here we sit. We don't know how to compute this integral. U substitution doesn't work. If we let u be that inside function, then it uh, is a u substitution we'd need to have an x outside of the square root, which we do not. Presenting an example where we can compute the integral is done almost against my better judgment. It's so artificial, but let's find the length of y equals two thirds x minus one to the three halves power from x equals one to x equals four. All right, we need the derivative of y. Already you can see this was designed to work out nicely. When this comes down, it cancels with that. and we get the square root. 
um, the derivative of x minus one is one. So we are using the chain rule here, but the derivative of the inside function is just one. And continuing this theme, that you can see this problem was designed to work out nicely when we take the square of this square root. We, of course, just get x minus 1. And the arc length is the integral from one to four of the square root of one plus the derivative squared, and this one and this negative one of course cancel. So the antiderivative of this x to the one half is bumped up to x to the three halves. We put a two thirds in front. And this we could plug into a decimal, a calculator if we wanted to. Um, I think it, it actually should simplify because four to the one halves is two, two cubed is eight times two. I know I just said about a calculator, but now that I'm looking at this, it's simple enough that we can simplify it using pen and paper. Although not so simple, looking back on my work, that I didn't make an error. Of course, when one gets plugged in here, we get two thirds. So that is actually 14 thirds. Sorry about that. 